one place that you would have ended up before the evening was over, of course, <coughs> would have been, no, at the local <laughs> brothel. <laughs> and this is called a horse lamp. Now, can you see the red light? Oh, yes? Okay. Oh, yes. No, yeah, because it's important that you catch the red light. Now, the guys know this, so this is for the benefit of the ladies. When you went by a window, about the size of my car door window, and you saw that red light, <coughs> that meant, sorry, I am busy. busy. <laughs> and there were so many windows with the red lights. That's where it became the red light district. But if you went by and you saw the amber illuminated, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Well, that meant he'll be with you shortly. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm taking this darling's money, so don't you guys go too far away. And you'll know, of course, I'm ready to see you because the green will be illuminated. And that means next. Come hither. Let's go. Let's go. Come on in. Let's go. In the 1800s, it was very fashionable for men to go to brothels. Nobody thought anything of it. And you guys controlled the money purse. And pretty soon you bought so many automobiles that you needed a a system to control the traffic. Now this is the only system that was universally known by all men. <laughs> and that's when the lights from the brothels took to the streets in the form of traffic lights and that's the story.